The Paris Summer Games are a year away, but they're already preparing and athletes are training every day. Chris Clark is here now with a look at a group of future Olympic hopefuls in town competing this week. Chris? Yeah, it's called the Southern Zones and it's taken over the Triangle Aquatic Center for at least the next four days. We're talking about the fastest 1,400 kids from ages 11 to 14 are all going to compete. Now, we got one to slow down just long enough to talk with us about her training and her long range goals. It takes hard work to be the best. It's why athletes are made and not born. And this week at the Triangle Aquatic Center, we could be watching Olympians in the making. It's a really big meet, but it's still one of the fundamental meets for a 13, 14 year old. Alexandria is one of hundreds of children competing in this week's Southern Zone Championships. Swimming for Team Florida out of St. Petersburg, she is currently the fastest 12-year-old girl in the 400 and 200 meter freestyle. It's mind-blowing and I'm very thankful to be in this position, but at the moment I'm looking to go faster and even get number one in the country. Alexandria first took to the water with her family as an infant. Then it was an activity to stay busy and make some friends at school, but it has since grown into her full-fledged passion. At the age of nine, I qualified for my first championship meet, and I saw I was improving a lot, and I just had a passion for it, and I loved the water anyways, and I was just good at it, so you got to love something you're good at. Now, that's not to say she's all business. I mean, for kicks, she tried and completed the Katie Ledecky Milk Chocolate Challenge, where you swim the length of a pool with a glass of it on your head. Truth be told, Alex did drink the chocolate milk first, but then it was right back to work. I know if I work hard, and I need to do that in order to reach my goals. So if I work hard, I'll get to what I, where I want to be. Right now, Alexandria's focus is on this week and her next race. But when she picks her head up out of the water long enough to take a breath, she's eyeing something much bigger. Two, three near, years from now, I want to max out my events at Futures and Junior Nationals. And it's a stretch goal, but maybe next year qualify for the 200 meter freestyle at Olympic Trials. In about five years, I'd want to try to go to the Olympics in 2028 and hopefully be there swimming with some of the greats. I get the feeling they're going to be talking about you as being one of the greats. And now her relay team literally just won the bronze in the 400 meter free at the meet. Now the event runs through Saturday. Like I said, take the names down. You just might be hearing about one or more of them in about five years. And yes, I will definitely be cheering for Alexandria Clark. Wait, Chris, are you guys related? Why? Of course. It's my niece right there. Come on, are you kidding me? It's, just a, it's, it's getting dusty in here. Sorry, oh, yeah. it's dusty with. It's not. I'm, it's just a little awesome <laughs> oozing out of my eyes here. I apologize mm. for that. Yeah. Well, we are rooting for Alexandria too. So uh, yeah. bursting with pride. Thanks, yeah. Chris. We appreciate it.